And all five fans, we are set to go for our next attraction. All right, here we go with our next matchup. The heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, here is the fighting pride of Lockhart, Texas, USA, Dino Cochino Miner. And here we have Leonardo Minor making his way to the cage. Six foot two, 32 years of age. Southpaw fighter has four fights underneath his belt. His last fight was in February of this year. It's a draw against Edgar Ramirez. Looking to bounce back and get his third victory here tonight. Leonardo Minor, ready for action. Definitely got the height advantage, height and read advantage. And his opponent ready to make his way into the ring. Hailing from Huntsville, Texas, USA, here is Juan El Martillo And now here for the Galveston Island Convention Center, live on Clear Live Media Pay-Per-View. We go to our next feature of the evening. This is the Anglia Homes Fight Series, presented to you by El Tigre Promotions. And it's scheduled for four rounds in the heavyweight division. Sponsored to you by Boxing TV. The three judges scored this contest at ringside are Randy Russell, Brian Tukamoto, and Joe Rodriguez. And our referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, James Cree. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Four rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with trainer Pedro Arcerega. And also with Joe De La Cruz, wearing blue with gold and white. He officially weighed in 210 pounds. Tonight, he steps into this contest unblemished. Four bouts, two victories. With one win coming to you by way of knockout, no defeats with two draws. Hailing from Lockhart, Texas, USA, here is Dino Cochino. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainer Ernest Johnson and Jose Cabrera, wearing the colors of the Lone Star State, red, white, with blue. He officially weighed in 247 pounds. Tonight, this Southpaw Warrior steps into this contest with a solid record. 13 bouts, eight victories, four wins coming to you by way of knockout, four defeats with one draw. Introducing to you the current ABO Regional Heavyweight Champion, the ABO Haguar Intercontinental Champion, and the ABF United States Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the heavyweight fighting pride of Huntsville, Texas, USA. Juan El Martillo Torres. Okay, gentlemen, it's a heavyweight fight. I want you to protect yourself at all times, and at all times, I want you to obey my command. Touch gloves, back to your corners. 
Juan El Martillo Torres. Tino Cochino Minor. And this fight is officially underway. Two softballs going at it. How often do you see that, Noe? That's, that's, you don't see that that much, man. It's not a good matchup. Juan Torres in the Texas trunks. You gotta love that. Oh yeah, man, he's he big, big Texas guy down here, man. Everybody got love for, for Torres. And you know these two gentlemen pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with Torres, man. We go way back. We fought on a couple cars together. Uh, we stay in touch. They come to our gym a lot to, to train with us and spar. Yeah, man, we, me and Torres. Dino's pretty, I think he's fairly new around the Houston scene. Yeah, Dino, kind of a small heavyweight or very yeah, trim heavyweight. Definitely, definitely small guy. See if Juan Torres can use his lower center of gravity and heavier weight and impose his yeah. will. You gotta come inside with him. On the slender Dino Cochino. That's an interesting name. Yeah, I think he got the nickname Battle One. <laughs> <laughs> he got that one today. Yeah, Juan and just keep getting inside. Just a minute into this heavyweight matchup. I'll tell you this much, Juan Torres moves very well for a big man. Oh yeah. He's very agile, man. I'm, like I said, I've seen him fight a couple of times. And you don't think it. He, he can move. And, and he's good for a lot of rounds. Yeah, he's got some speed on him for a heavyweight. Here we see Torres imposing his weight. That's, that's where he got to be at. On Dino. Can Don Dino make his way out of there? Dino answering his way. Can he get his way out? Yeah, that ain't where Dino want to be. Dino. Dino Cochino <laughs> coming back. Trying to work the body. Interesting that Minor is working the body of Torres. And I always wondered like if the extra layer of belly on the heavyweights, nah, with all due respect, you know, it's like that, <laughs> like it's like an extra padding. Nah, they feel them too, trust me. They, they feel them too? Them. Yeah. It's good to know. It wears them down just, to, just as much as it does us, a little bit more, if anything. Yeah, he, got him on, he got him on the outside now. That's, that's where Dino want to be at. See if Juan can get back on the inside. Yeah, the longer of the two fighters wants to impose the outside range. The shorter fighter in Juan Torres wants to work his way to the inside and see some inside work. That's probably likely the more Powerful of the two as far as center of gravity. Oh, yeah. Got that power lifter body style. They don't want to fight on the inside too though. So we're picking up the pace in the closing seconds of this first round. Just under 10 seconds left. Some good body work. Who will impose who's will on the other and leave a lasting impression on the judges. Round one underway. Stay with us ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go to a quick break. Texas Entertainment Experience is the ultimate family destination. Indoor go-karts, a skating rink, and a ropes course, video games, prizes, and much more. There's something for everyone. Tex, the ultimate family destination. We're here at Sky Bar at 21st and Post Office in historic downtown Galveston. Sky Bar is uh, your classic steak and sushi. We have fresh sushi rolls, we have home done steaks, we have teriyaki, a little bit of everything. It's the freshest sushi on the island. It's a wonderful place to be and uh, martini specials all day long. It's, it's just a great place to hang out and bring your friends. Come on down to Sky Bar, just say hello, make a new friend. And thank you to our sponsors, the Sky Bar Steak and Sushi. Makes me in the mood for some steak and sushi right now, Noe. Anything, man, I have an excellent we got here. Okay, round two, kicking off for our heavyweights. As we got El Martillo taking on Cochino in this Southpaw versus Southpaw matchup. I think the Martillo Cochino, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got Torres coming on strong. And Minor coming back. We got a nice flurry in right there. Man, Dino will not be pushed around. Yeah. He's definitely here to fight, man. He Torres now leaning his weight. See if he can land some shots to the inside. But Dino doing a good job in turning the corner. You gotta work inside. That's what... 
Dino now, the longer the two fighters, opting to fight inside, land some good shots to the body. Juan gotta get a little bit more active in there. See a little bit of blood coming from the nose of Juan Torres. Juan Torres, four knockouts to his credit. Oh, He's never been stopped in his career. Oh man, Juan tough, man. He, he fight everything. He do MMA, bare knuckle, boxing. It's a true fighter Yeah. in Juan Torres. Dino looking to stay undefeated, mm. looking for his third victory. Gotta keep his hands up on the inside. As the old saying goes, no, I mean, speed kills. I mean, does the slender build of Dino help him out in a fight like this? So far, man, so far, he, he's a little bit more. Oh, oh that was that right was on the belt line. Right on the Texas logo. <laughs> <laughs> Timeout from the referee. And then, no, whenever a foul like this happens, how much time does a fighter get to recover from the commission? Hey, legally, the commission gives you up to five minutes. You, you can take up all you want alone to five minutes after that, then. If you can't continue, then go to the scorecards. Uh, if it goes under, to a under four rounds, I don't believe so. Under four gotcha. rounds, it's a uh, might no turn contest. into a no contest. Yeah, yeah gotcha. no contest, I believe. So Juan Torres has up to five minutes to recover from that low blow. And those of you guys at home that maybe criticize guys that take a break, I mean, try getting oh, yeah. low blowed yeah. and then having to fight a, <laughs> another professional fighter. I mean, that stuff it takes it out of you. And they come right back to punch you. I'd almost, you know, one of the answer back and go tit for tat. If you, <laughs> you kind of weaken me with a low blow, then I'll maybe do the same, because make us put it in the same boat. Get back on the eagle playing ground. Yeah, because that could, that might come into factor in the later rounds, we'll see. But Torres still looking strong. <laughs> but man, in the meantime, Minor picking up the pace. And Flores are getting in there. Now we see a spurt in energy from Dino working that footwork. Can he keep this fight on the outside? Is that what he needs to do? That's that's the game. I'm sure that's his game plan, but he, he's having his success inside too. It's just if he can keep it up for the four rounds. I mean, four rounds ain't much, but when you're in there getting punched, it, they feel forever. Let's just see if that game plan works for four rounds. Just under 10 seconds left. See if these fighters finish strong in the closing seconds of the second round. I know, I know it's, kind of, it's tough to watch and do the commentating at the same time, but in your professional opinion, from what you've seen, who would you give that round to if you were a judge? Man, I think, I think uh, Dino Cochino with them little flurries got him. Uh, yeah, I'd have to agree better. with you, yeah. especially after that break. He came on strong and took advantage of the situation, yeah. which is smart. I mean, he picked up exactly. the pace. Yeah. I mean, he knew it. Whether it was intentional or not, he got the low blow in, he had to come right back in and jump on him. Yeah, and they didn't take a point away, so I mean, you gotta yeah, fight strong, right. continue on, so. If the referee ain't telling you nothing, you gotta go for it, man. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. I'd probably give this second round to Dino. First round's kind of a pick em round. First, yeah, first round was pretty easy, man. So you have to wonder, what is each corner instructing their fighters? Can't sit on the, sit on the points. Nah, you gotta go nah. for the knockout. They, bo they both gotta go right here. Interesting fact about Juan Torres, I think this is about the fourth undefeated fighter he's taken on. His last loss was to the 8-0 Norman Neely, who at the time was 8-0, who is currently 12-0. Yeah, yeah, I remember that fight. Yeah, I, I can tell you, man, Juan's a, he's a, he's a fighter fighter, man. He, he can take on anybody, anywhere. Oh, my. But right now, he, he got his hands full right now. Dino Cochino starting strong. Can he keep that pace up? If you were working Dino's corner, would you tell him to keep that pace up, or can he last that long? Man, he, he don't look gas. He don't look gas. He don't look tired. Yeah, he should. He's got one more round after this. He's got to go for it, man. Torres trying to ground the heavy footwork of Dino Minor. And this He's is what right there. Torres okay. needs to do. Just impose that weight, slow Dino down, make him feel that weight and burn up some energy. He's gonna have to make this into an ugly fight to pull off the win. He got he's got to work while he's in there though. He can't just because he, he's coming right back. Right there, he's just really giving him a break. He's not working. Dino 
not having any of it. No. Starting to feel the wear of Torres just trying to lean on to him. He's not going to give Torres any breaks. Referee breaking the action, giving the fighters some space. Dino now working the outside. Working that good jab, that long jab. A three solid jabs. Now we see a small cut over the right eye of Torres. Got to work right there. That's where Juan Torres got to work. There you go. Oh, good check right hook there off the break from Torres. That's it. That's where he got to work. Just under a minute 20. Man, there's some aggression right there. These two are in a fight. He's a smaller guy, but he got some strength on him. You can tell. Referee. Trying to warn the fighters, let them know who's in control here. Good step by the referee. Yeah, He's starting yeah. to feel the emotions get a little heated, but I mean, at the same time, Eric, you got two grown men who are professional fighters. It's gonna, oh, emotions yeah. are gonna are gonna flare. They're in here for a fight, that's, that's for sure. I mean, yeah, this is not ballet that these <laughs> two are in. Ooh. There you go, Minor, teeing off. He's, he's in there, but he gotta go to work. Torres is, cannot find the openings no. on that inside. He's looking for them, though. He's probably a little tired, too. He's going against a there longer fighter. Those are always tough to deal with, that range and length. Oh, solid jab solid there jab. by Nine. I mean, we're right here ringside. We can hear that. He clipped him pretty good on that left hook. <laughs> Referee trying to be sure that these two don't butt heads. Just under 10 seconds left in this third round. One round left after this. Oh. Good uppercut when he was down. I think that one, I think that one hurt him right there. Torres trying to finish strong, but Dino lands some good shots himself. If you are in the corner, stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be right back. Hi, my name is Manny. I'm from Brazil. I'm located in the historic downtown Helsinki. We're on 21st Pro Stop. We have fajitas, we have enchiladas, we have tacos, fish tacos, shrimp tacos, ceviches. We're voting best in the other on a lot of our items on the menu. And this is the spot to be at if you want to check the cantina. So come in, visit us at the kilos, and see what type of tequila you want. Thank you, A&A Machine and Fabrication of Lamarck, Texas, for sponsoring Clear Life Media's broadcast of the LT Great Promotions Anglia Holmes Fight Series. A&A Machine and Fabrication, quality people making quality products. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to Taquillos, Tex-Mex, and to A&A Machine and Fabrication for your support as we enter the fourth and final round between these two heavyweights. There's a sense of urgency from Juan Torres. Yeah, definitely. This, this. If you were Juan Torres' coach, what would you be telling him to do in this fourth round? He got he to gotta nonstop pick up the pace and get inside. Yeah, I mean, he's gotta go. he needs a knockout to win this one. And Dino knows it. Dino ain't letting up at all. Man, got a lot of respect for both of these guys. Torres is a That's tough it. individual. It. But man, the skill of Dino in the heavyweight yeah. division, maybe that lighter, slender build really helps him put some speed into this division. He'd be great, man, if he probably get down about cruiserweight. He'd be perfect for that. What do you weigh in at? Can he tell you on there? I believe it was a little bit over 200 pounds. Maybe that's where Juan needed to be at. I mean, he looks very muscular, muscular yeah. frame. I mean, he's looking solid. Just under two minutes left in this heavyweight fight. Juan just missing. He's just missing, but he's in there. And Randall's prediction yeah. for Torres just wants to do his best. Minor felt that he can stop Torres with a body shot. So we saw him working the body earlier. Will that pay dividends here yeah. in this deep water? Yeah, he had some good body work earlier. A good combination right there by Torres. 
One thing Minor said about himself is that he's nasty. That's why he gets the name Cochino. We've seen that <laughs> aggression in him in this uh, fight. He's a feisty definitely. individual, I'll give you that. Most definitely. He, he definitely got respect from everybody here today. Fighting out of our San Diego boxing in Lockhart. Very athletic individual, plays flag football as well, in addition to his boxing skills. Juan Torres out of Hit City Boxing and Omar Boxing Gym in Huntsville, Texas. Dino with three kids is his motivation. Right now, Torres with the urgency has just under 35 seconds left to score something big. He needs it. Oh. Dino, well in control of this matchup. Will not let Torres try to steal it from him. He's not, man. He's definitely not, not here to lay down. Oh. Good comeback punch right there. Short time left. Will we see something big between these two heavyweights? And Juan and Martillo Torres and Dino Cochino Minor go to a decision. We're going to take a quick commercial break and get the official decision. Brick and Spoon is now serving breakfast, brunch, and lunch at Mainland City Center in Texas City. Offering sweet eats, fresh greens, and everything breakfast. Learn more at brickandspoon.com. We are at Little Daddy's Gumbo Bar in a historic district downtown in Galveston on 21st and Post Office. We're known for our gumbo. So this is very unique. This is where we make all of our gumbo. So for example, if you want to get a seafood gumbo with no oysters, it has not been put in there yet. So you can kind of switch and swap out whatever you'd like. The pull boys are massive. Everything you get here is going to be very large portion. We have a great staff. Everybody's very friendly. It's little Daddy's Gumbo Bar, pull me, pill me, pinch me. And thank you to BrickandSpoon.com and Little Daddy's Gumbo Bar. You can find out more information about them in our Galveston restaurant group. We appreciate your support as we are about to get the final decision between these two heavyweight fighters. If you had to make a call, who would you think made it there, Zoe? Man, I'll be honest, if I had to, I'd probably have to give it a draw, man. I think they one and one, one and one. They alternate around. Uh, Dino landed, Dino landed some really great shot. I think that last round, Juan needed, he came and put the pressure on and was a lot more active. I mean, we're, we're loosely scoring here, though. Yeah. So, nonetheless, I mean, I saw some good stuff from Juan in the opening round. But really, from there, it's some second round on up. I mean, Dino really started to pick up the full work, especially after that low blow, and took command of the fight from then on. Maybe the extra weight Definitely. of Torres started to wear a little bit as well. He did. Yeah, yeah, that last round, you could tell Dino slow down a little bit. He was still bouncing around, moving, but he wasn't punching like he was in the second and third round. So we'll find out right now. And as we await the final decision, got seven rounds in the book. We got five rounds to go. And Noah, you're, co you're cornering later. Uh, who's your fighter you're cornering? We got Chris McCoy I'm cornering and Chase Nelson. They're both fighting. Uh, Chris McCoy fighting for the ABL belt and Chase Nelson fighting for the WBC belt. All right. So are you taking off after this? Or do you, you can stick around for one more fight? No, I think I got to go back to get a Chris and them ready. Okay, brother. Well, we really appreciate your time and effort. We'll wait for the decision before we depart. But hey, when's your next fight? I don't have nothing to say right now. I'm, I'm, I'm find out this weekend, probably uh, September. So hopefully in September we'll September see. September uh, on the top rank card, hopefully. That's what we're, we're shooting yeah. for. Well, fingers crossed. We'll be looking out for you. The ABO welterweight champ, Noe Lopez, hope should be back in action in September. We've enjoyed listening to his expertise here tonight in this heavyweight matchup. We can see our announcer with the final tally. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, watching at home from clearlifemedia.com. I am Todd Moore. Call the action here with the welterweight champ, Noe Lopez, here in Galveston, Texas, as we call the action here for the Angela Holmes Fight Series. We just wrapped up a very active heavyweight fight. Yeah, very active for a heavyweight fight, right? You don't even see that. 
in a, in a heavyweight fight. We see the referee and the announcer tallying up the final decision. And let's make it official as we take it to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, here for the Galveston Island Convention Center, how about a huge round of applause for both of these warriors here in the ring. We have a split decision. Here are the totals. Judge Randy Russell scores this bout 39-37, Tino Minor. Judge Brian Takamoto has the bout 39 to 37, Juan Torres. And Judge Joe Rodriguez has the bout 39 to 37. To your winner by split decision, the fighting bride of Lockhart, Texas, Tino Cochino! All right, we give congratulations to Dino in his third professional victory. Remains undefeated, and he earned that one, Noe. He definitely, man, he definitely. He, he, he came, did what he had to do, fought on the outside, fought on the, in, on the inside, and, uh, man, he, 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 he brought the... All right, Noe Lopez, I know you got your fighter, Chris McCoy, on his way. We wish you luck in that fight. We also wish you luck on your future fight in September. Wishing the best for you. Thank you, sir, and hope to call some more fights with you maybe later, all right? Thank you very much, man. Thank all right. You. Thank you for having me. Take care, Noe. Texas Pit Stop Barbecue is now open in Texas City. With additional locations in Galveston and Lamarck, this award-winning barbecue prepares you for whatever comes your way. Dine in, on the go, and catering. Texas Pit Stop Barbecue never takes shortcuts and always brings the heat. Work hard, train hard. I'm about to knock out this barbecue at Texas Pit Stop in Texas City.